Kayo. I hope you're all doing well. Here's another video for all of you. I'll be sharing with you a very um, emotional trip that we did in Auckland. It was actually um, two events in one. Because we sent my mom to the airport for her to go back to Canada after being with us for two months on holiday. And then my sister-in-law celebrated her 40th birthday. But before I go ahead, I would like to welcome you all. My name is Colleen and I live here in the South Island of New Zealand. I do share videos about our life experiences here. And I also share news about migrating here in New Zealand. Kamusta na kayo guys? I know it's been a while but it's been pretty busy career-wise, personal life. Kaya naman... Ngayon lang ako nakapag-vlog ng medyo mahaba-haba and nakapag-spill ng ganito ulit. For today, I would like to introduce a little bit of Auckland City. For sure, if you're traveling from overseas, you'll come across Auckland International Airport because it is one of the major airports here in New Zealand. Auckland is a multicultural city. Actually, they were saying that the population of Auckland is even greater than the population of the South Island. Before I get to the video, I would like to share some tips that might come handy if in case you'd like to travel to Auckland. If you know anyone who lives in Auckland or near the area, I'd recommend for you to consider staying in their place, especially if they're your relatives or your really good friends because accommodation is so expensive. And to give you an idea, I have included information on how much we've spent while we were in Auckland, specifically for accommodation and the attractions that we've done. And then another thing as well, transportation. I know it's pretty easy because buses are there, taxi, Uber, and then they also have a public train. But then if you are pretty much limited with time, Madudoble yung length of time in yung sa pag travel if in case mo bubas kayo. For example, going from place A to place B would only take you about 15 minutes, but then if you take the bus, it will take you around 30 minutes. So if you know someone who's got transport, who can pick you up, who can tour you around, or if wala naman, if there's really no means, then I would advise for you to rent a car. It is really economical and practical if you would rent a car kasi. Auckland is such a big city, so the attractions wouldn't be so close to one another. That's why transport is very important. Another thing, guys, for example, there is a restaurant that you'd like to go and visit. And if it seems to be baka five-star siya or famous talaga siya, make sure you get in contact with them prior to visiting Auckland. There's a lot of ways on how to contact people naman na ngayon. So, badali lang mag-email or sometimes they do have a website and then you can make a booking right there. So, yun. Here's a tipid tip from me, guys. There is a website. It's called bookme.co.nz and you can see discounted prices of different attractions or services around New Zealand. It's very easy to use. You just need to click on which area you are going to visit. In this case, for example, Auckland. You'll see a list of discounted vouchers in that certain area. So you can... There are also other websites, but I haven't tried the other ones yet. Book me pa lang yung na-try ko before. And legit siya, guys. That's my chica moment saying you guys. I hope you'll enjoy the video and please don't forget to comment, subscribe, like and share. What about my New Zealand? Shuttle. Yeah. We are leaving in 8 minutes now, so we are So, hindi mo na kailangan mag-book dito. So, there's 5 of us. So, 1 teenager, 1 5 year old, and then 3 adults. Um, $80 yung sinayin nila.
Namiss ko yung Dunkin' Donuts. The last time na nagpunta kami ng Auckland, guys, nearly four years ago na yun, that was the end of 2019, no? On the way kami sa Philippines para sa holiday. Ngayon na lang ulit kami nakasakay ng plane na medyo matagal yung biyahe. Hindi na kami sanay. This is where we've stayed, guys. This is an apartment in Best Western New Market Inn and Suites in the suburb of Epsom. We had a great stay here. It was so comfortable and their friendly and accommodating staff are just so lovely. Now, price reveal, guys. I made a booking through booking.com. We paid $1,061. That's for four nights. And to be honest, it was really a great deal. It took me a while to decide where to stay because most of the accommodations were charging more than $2,000 for our total number of stay. As they say, good things come to those who wait. What you are seeing on the video now is New Zealand's biggest shopping center, Sylvia Park. They do carry international brands in this mall, like Sephora. Now, they do have three stores in New Zealand. However, they are all in Auckland. That's why I would always tell my friends and my family that if you are after shopping, Auckland is the place to be. You can also find the only Costco store in New Zealand. Guess where? In Auckland. Since the town where we live in has limited physical stores, we made sure that we dropped by the outlet stores in Dress Mart. They do have a branch in Christchurch that I have featured in my vlogs before, but the one in Auckland has just so much to offer. Let me just clarify that Auckland is not just for shopping. It is a perfect place to know about the New Zealand history, considering that it is a multicultural city. Hey guys, let me close for me. It's raining. Maulan na umaga. Welcome to the Auckland War Memorial Museum. Going in. Thank you. 